today's video, I am doing a quick review of the Goya Etois. I'm also going to share with you some top essentials I think every woman should have in her work bag, especially if you're commuting. So let's get into it. So this is the Goya Etois, and this is a medium sized tote bag. It measures about 20 inches across and 11 inches high. So as you can see, this is the medium size and this is a great size if you are commuting or if you're just wearing the bag in general. Now Goya is a French fashion house. It got its beginnings in 1792. At that time, they focused a lot on trunks and cases. In 1853, a young apprentice by the name of Goya actually started working for the company and then the fashion house was really born. So Goya has been around for a very long time. It is an exclusive brand because you cannot go to the website and actually order this bag or any other bags or products. And if you go to the website, they only have a select few of their products online. Goya has a few boutiques, the main boutique of course being in Paris, France, and when it comes to Goya products being sold in the department stores, only a select few carry Goya. So it is an exclusive brand in that sense. And if you're going to buy this bag and you call the store to order it, you cannot purchase this bag via credit card. So I absolutely, again, love the Goya Etois because of some of the features. Now, unlike the Goya St. Louis Tote, the Etois has the leather on the sides or at the bottom corners here. Goya actually put this leather on the bags to reinforce the bags because the St. Louis tote, there are many issues related to the corners of the bag and how those corners would damage easily. So as you can see, the leather on the corners reinforce the bag, so you're not gonna get that damage. In addition to that, the handle drop of this tote is extremely low. So when you put it on your arm, it's not going to sit right under your arm. And if you happen to have on a coat, this is going to be extremely comfortable. Also the leather here on the bags, this is so thick. Hopefully you can see that. And because it is thick, it is extremely comfortable on the arm. In addition to that, I like this bag because it has a zipper on the top. So if you're commuting or traveling, this is great because you don't have to worry about anyone reaching into the bag. So I like that fact about this Etois as well. It also has a pocket on the inside of the bag so that you can carry some of your essentials in that pocket. Now for me, I like this bag because it is structured. Because it is the coated canvas, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. And I also like the bag because I have a bag insert in the bag. And because of that, it gives me even more structure. And because the top is so roomy, there's no problem at all getting the bag insert in and out. This is the Goya Etois. I like the bag. And if you look at the pattern here, the Y on this bag is actually the Y in the Goya brand. So let's get into those essentials that I happen to have in the bag. So the first essential I think that every woman should have in her bag when she's commuting is an extra bag. You want to make sure that you have an extra bag in your bag so that if you are in the office and you want to go out to lunch or if you have something to do after work, you can actually pull this out with your essentials and you don't have to carry this big bag. So I keep an extra bag in this bag and I put in there my wallet, my keys and a lipstick and I'm out the door. So make sure that when you're commuting that you have an extra bag so that you don't have to carry your big bag. In addition to that, I think that if you're going to commute, one of the essentials you want to have at all times, well, you want to have an extra pair of flats. When it comes to commuting, you want to make sure that you are able to move quickly and more than anything else, comfort is so important. So I always have extra shoes with me and they are usually flats because when it comes to my overall bag, if I have flats, I can put these in the bag and they're not going to take up much space, especially if I'm going somewhere after work and I want to make sure that I can put on some comfortable shoes because if I go somewhere and I get there and I want to put my heels back on, that means that I have to put sneakers in my bag if I'm wearing sneakers. And as you know, sneakers take up a lot of space. And by the looks of these, you see these don't take up much space at all. In addition to that, this isn't going to change the way your outfit looks. I'll pop up a picture so you can see an outfit 
with me having these flats on, you can see it really doesn't change the look of the outfit too much, whereas the sneakers make the outfit look a little more casual. So if you put on your flats, you're still gonna look polished. And if you don't wanna put on your heels once you get there, again, you can keep on the flats and you're still gonna look polished. I also recommend that you put your flats in a shoe bag so that when you drop them in your overall tote, you're not gonna get that dirt and grime from the streets or wherever you're wearing them in your bag. So make sure you have an extra pair of flats in your bag so that you can still look polished, pull together when you go wherever you need to go outside of work or just when you are commuting. In addition to that, I recommend that while you're commuting, you wanna make sure that you're making the best use of your time. So I recommend having a Kindle. And you don't necessarily have to have a Kindle. The whole point in this is you wanna make sure that you are productive, that you're making the best use of your time. So I carry a Kindle with me because I'm able to have multiple books on the Kindle and I'm able to give my eyes a break from the computer screen because the Kindle has a more of a soft light to it. So I recommend having some type of device where you can make yourself productive, whether you are reading, whether you are listening to a podcast on your phone. The whole point is you wanna make sure that you are productive during this time that you're commuting. In addition to that, another essential that I think every woman should have in her work bag, every woman should have a scarf. Scarves are absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful because what scarves do is they elevate your look. Let's say you're in the office and after work you want to grab dinner or you have some kind of business meeting after work and you want to take off your jacket, your blazer, but you still want to look very fashion forward. If you have a scarf with you, you can put this scarf on and it's actually going to elevate your look. I'll pop up a picture so that you can see how this has elevated the look and it's just a simple scarf. Also, a scarf is going to help you stay warm. We know right now it is hot outside and you go to some places and they have the air conditioning turned up really high so it makes it really kind of chilly. Well, a scarf you can drape around your shoulders. Now, I recommend a silk scarf because again, it's going to elevate your look. And so if you could get silk or satin, that's uh, more appropriate or it's going to look a little bit better than maybe a cotton scarf. I also recommend putting it in a small dust bag because if you put it in a small dust bag, again, you're going to help prevent this from getting overly wrinkled and you're going to protect it once you put it in your overall bag. So if you like the video thus far, give it a thumbs up. Also remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you know when I upload new content. I'm sure there's something on the channel you're absolutely going to enjoy. Okay, so the next item that I think every woman should have when commuting, well, every woman should have sunglasses. When it comes to sunglasses, sunglasses, not only do they help protect your eyes, which is a benefit, but they are also very chic. And then part of being on brand is to make sure that you stay chic. You wanna always look your very best, put your very best foot forward. And so sunglasses are going to help you look chic when you're commuting. And they're also good if your eyes happen to be tired and you wanna give them a break, you can pop on your sunglasses and still look great. So make sure that you are commuting with a pair of nice sunglasses. Okay, ladies, so the last thing that every woman should have in her work bag, well, that is every woman should continue to have mask and hand sanitizer. Now, I know we are all sick of masks, we are all really just over the pandemic. However, we know that we still have to be cautious. We still have to be careful, especially if we are around a lot of people. So regardless of what your views are, you just wanna make sure that you are protecting yourself. Have extra masks, have hand sanitizer, because when you do commute, things are extremely dirty. So you wanna make sure that you're cleaning your hands. It's just a hygienic thing to do. So I hope you've enjoyed the overall review. The Goya Etois, I would absolutely recommend this bag. I think that it is wonderful. I absolutely enjoy the bag. And if you want me to do a review of the Goya Etois and compare it to the Louis Vuitton, leave a comment below and I'll make sure that I do that. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the video on this channel. I really do focus on helping women elevate their personal brands through modern elegance and also through style. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.